some people present, I mean, enthusiasm to work in the world outside, get dissipated because of the memories of the past, or by the anxieties for the future. Samaji, <laughs> no. In my case, I have neither of them, because I have no memory of the past. My memory is rather poor. I have not got that much of imagination to imagine the future. I am not worried at all. And yet I am not succeeding. That is because the third field of dissipation is the present. Excitement in the present. <laughs> Swamiji, thousand things I have to do today. And I don't know how I will do it. You know. Every work is put on me only. And I have to do it. That's up. To lunch time, you complain. <laughs> After lunch time, there is no time to work, and therefore you postpone it. Excitement in the present. If these three are conquered, don't allow your enthusiasm to be dissipated either with the past or the future or with the present. The entire inspiration, you shaft them. Focus them to the job in hand. The work turned out cannot but be extremely excellent. And excellent work must yield maximum profit and glory. You fail in life because of yourself. You are not born in the world to fail. Success is your birthright. But you don't know how to tune up your instrument. Your instrument is all shattered out. Either you dissipate in the past, or in the future, or in the present. And some of you dissipate in all the three. <laughs> <laughs> so then, whatever inspired ideas come to you, that inspiration goes. And when you work in the world outside without inspiration, it becomes monotonous, routine work. Monotonous routine work cannot produce any great results. Feel inspired. Have a goal in front of you. And then you act on. You have no time to think of the past or the future. And you forget or overlook to become anxious of the present. Your eyes are on your goal, and you are making a beeline towards him. This is the secret of great achievement.